I can imagine someone saying, you know, you talk about correlating the text, but mm. if, I, if I'm new to the Bible, how do I know what to exactly. correlate it with? Isn't that a good question? I, I, and, and I think the first thing that is helpful for people to know is the Bible quotes itself many, many different times and places, yes. which is if you follow what's going on, mm. then you start to see which texts matter. Let's go right back to John 3 and Jesus and Nicodemus. Jesus is trying to explain to Nicodemus this idea of being born again. Mm -hmm. And he, he, after he explains that, he then gives an Old Testament reference that Pharisees would be sort of your, your legal scholars. They're, right. they're your right. Old Testament experts. Right. They really knew the Bible. They, they knew it inside yeah. and out. And yeah. so Nicodemus would be no exception. And so Jesus goes back to what might be obscure for some, Numbers chapter 14, mm -hmm. to an instance in the desert yeah. where God's people are making their way to the promised land. And in that journey, they are very fed up with Moses and God and desert. The and weather so and all that goes with it. Manna. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and so God has allowed snakes to come into the camp and yeah. the people are crying out for relief mm -hmm. from the snakes. The snakes yeah. are biting and yeah. people are dying. And, and, and if you remember the passage, yeah. God tells Moses, you need to make this standard and this, yeah. this pole, and you yeah. fashion a bronze snake uh, on this pole, and, and the people are going, great, and the snakes will go away. And God's, no, no, the snakes won't go away. Uh, well, the snakes will bite, but we won't die. No, no, the, the snakes will bite and we'll keep dying. But if you look up to this bronze snake. Yeah, you hold that standard up. Th that standard is up. If you're bit, you look up. And, and as that standard has been lifted up, you will be saved from your bite. And then Nicodemus, who would know that story, he would know so it well, very well. Yeah. Then right. Jesus says, "I need to be lifted up. If the Son of Man is lifted up, I will draw all men to right. me." And now Nicodemus has a passage, has a picture in his mind. Right from Numbers, yes, and those new to the Bible, how did we get there? Well, Jesus is quoting Numbers, and your Bible will actually tell you that. And so, and you, we read John 3, 16, when Jesus quotes Numbers, yes, you go back and read Numbers. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and that's how you begin to correlate, because right. the Bible, New Testament is quoting right. Old Testament. Especially where Jesus says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And I want to think about that time. There's a little inside his head. Ding. Now that's, what, that's where my, my imagination kicks in. I picture Nicodemus. It's one of those aha moments. Yeah. I got it. I mean, he never had seen this before, and he's talking to the one that is to be lifted up. Yes, yes. The one who is the fulfillment of that rescue operation with all the snakes. The beautiful part of this, uh, Rome, is, is this book is absolutely full of things like that. Yeah. Full of them. Yeah. And uh, we, we have believed the lie that it's it, the print's too tiny, the pages are too numerous, the words are too hard, the time is irrelevant, what folks don't realize is that God does a masterful job in his word of building a bridge from the ancient centuries, even all the way back to Abraham's day and beyond, all the way to the 21st century where we are. Yeah. And through a study, a searching of the scriptures, you make the journey across the bridge. Yeah. That's, that's what good Bible study will do for you.